Hey guys, I haven't made a video in a while because for St. Patrick's week we had a few shows and then I had to work on and just kind of I uh, got a little bit a uh, little bit behind on those, so I wanted to come back and make a few now. Uh, as a result of those shows, uh, I got a new whistle. This is an F whistle uh, made by the same fellow who's made pretty much everything else that I play, Gary Humphrey. Um, I had an old F whistle that uh, that worked all right, and I just had it for 15 years or so. Um, but now that we've been playing a few more uh, songs that that needed it, um, I wanted to get a, a proper one, and this has turned out really well. Just got it a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to play a tune on it. Uh, it's a jig. It's a real popular one now Kitty, called Kitty Lie Over. Um, and I'll play it on this just because I want to, and it's a cool whistle, and so you, can, you guys can hear how it sounds, and then I'll come back and record it in uh, D and break it down in D on the regular whistle. So here's the tune, Kitty Lie Over. Cool tune and a cool whistle as well. Um, so I'll break it down now in D, kind of run through the parts, the basic melody and all that sort of stuff, and then some of the ornaments as well. So the basic melody to start off with, uh, it's a bit of a repetitive tune. Uh, it's got a, a pretty simple line, I think, but it's uh, probably what makes it sound so cool, I think. So here's the beginning of the A part. Run that again. Second section. Do that bit again. Third section is a repeat, as a lot of these tunes are. And then to finish up, Again. So that's the whole A part. Um, I'll, I'll play it all the way through together so you can get the whole the whole melody line. <laughs> so here we go. part starts on the second octave um, and there's a couple of things that I'll, I'll show you how to get up there that's some of the variations and, and the ornaments you can do we'll, we'll break that down uh, once we finish up the melody but here's the, the beginning of the B part Let's play that again and the second section here And then the uh, third section here. Play that bit again because that's a bit tricky. And it wraps up the same as the A part. So I'll run the whole B part all together so you can get that and then we'll put in some of those ornaments. Hopefully you're hearing some spots for them because there's a couple of a couple of good options for rolls and things. So here we go. So 
So now, like I said, there's a, a few good spots for rolls in that, and we'll start on the B part, just since we've just kind of got that fresh in our minds, hopefully. So right off the bat, I'm gonna play. So there's a couple of long notes there that you can fill with the rolls. Now getting up to the B part, that's one thing where I mentioned is you can have a little bit of fun with that. So the A part finishes up. You can jump into the, the, um, the B part that way. So you can play around with that a little bit. Now on the A part, um, there's a lot of kind of arpeggios, so it's a good place for some of those short rolls or just single grace notes. There's a good place for the roll, of course, as well. Triplet there as well. Uh, again, kind of like a transition and everything. You can go from between the lower octave to the high octave. That's kind of what I like to do. So hopefully you heard a few things in there that you can get out of that. Um, if you're, this is also a, a, a Gary Humphrey whistle, so if you're looking for information on him, I'll post his link in the comments. I think I'm able to do that. Um, you can check out his website, and uh, he makes great whistles. He's got reasonable prices. They're all handmade, so I really like his stuff. I've got now, I think, five or six of his, and might order another one here at some point as well. So I uh, hope you liked the video. Any questions, let me know, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.